Hi guys, Todd here. Yes, I'm in my car. Uh, Sunday, Easter Sunday no less, and uh, me and the Doug, uh, who's sitting here, and he will clamber over me at any moment. Well, to be honest, I was supposed to do a review today, but I really can't be arsed because it's Easter Sunday. So what I thought I would do is come out, grab my coffee, uh, come down to St David's Bay, which is just along the road from where I live, and <laughs> you knock that camera over, we'll fall out, and yes we will. I'll take, I'll take you for a walk in a bit. Right, so, short and sweet version here is. This is the Piccoloid, which is essentially a piccolo, no, piccolo, <laughs> a spheroid. This was sent on to me free for review by Vaping Art, uh, or Vapor Art, I should say. And I've got a whole pile of paperwork here to, to go over it. I'll be totally honest with you, I've had the, the Piccolo in, I, mean, I remember I had it when it first came out, and I've had a couple of versions, and I've also had, I dread to think how many spheroids I've owned over the time I've been vaping, and I have, in any reviews or discussions that I've had about this device, both devices uh, have been complimentary, shall we say, very, very positive, and, and, and the, do you know, nothing's changed. Now, the only thing that has changed is me. Um, I'm a little bit rounder and a little bit greyer, but uh, also my vaping habits have changed. Uh, so, I, do you know, this was going to be a really quick, just a quick, quick look, but then I thought, you know, I'll have a blather. Now, things I will get. Um, what they have said to me is that they offer three different finishes. There's a brushed, a two-tone, and a bead blasted. Um, you can buy the Piccolo and you can buy the Spheroid separately, okay? But the Piccoloid, which is both of them, um, I had a price here before TJ ran into me, is €159. Euros. So what they've sent me here is a GP Piccolo V4, a Spheroid V3 in brushed plus Lux kit. So this is €174. Euros. Now, as far as materials go and whatnot with vaping, vapor art, you know, you're looking at 316 stainless steel bars they use. Uh, they go down to 0.01 millimeter tolerance for certain parts, uh, way beyond the industry standards, as they say here. Um, all the polishing is done by hand uh, using industrial belts. I mean, they've actually posted videos in the past of their guys buffing these bits up. I think the main thing you know, when you're looking at the any GP parts um, or devices, is when you buy. I'm not going to name other companies because there are other other companies. Well, not many companies, but there are a few other companies that fit into the same bracket of these guys, and that is customer service. Customer service, delivery times, support times, and whatnot for these guys is second to none, and that is something that is to be commended um, and, and I can't fault you go to any forum you go to any user group Facebook anything and you, you'll very seldom hear a bad word about these guys and the service that they provide what I'll do is once I get home um, I'll do a camera up close a bit what have you seen there's a man he's having a drink and uh, I'll take it to bits and I'll show you up close. I'm not spending a lot of time going over this because you've seen a lot of it before. I'll pop this bit in at the end. This is the bit at the end because I, I, I really do, other than what I discussed at the start um, and what I discussed in the close-ups and him in the background, is, come here, come on, come here. I don't really have anything else to say other than Oil all boils down to as far as this device goes is how do you feel about fourteen five hundred batteries? Uh, as far as the spheroid goes itself, it's not a cloud chasing device. Uh, this is a flavour at it all the way, and my impressions of it haven't changed one bit. It, it's a hard device to fall. It really, really is. As far as the Piccoloid goes, I've got to say this addition compared to what I've had in the past, uh, the switch and the locking ring are the big difference. 
the, you know, the no mucking about with the uh, contacts, you know, slap a battery in and away you go. How things change. <laughs> I remember this stuff used to arrive in just a little bit of bubble wrap. Um, but now we've got these little boxes that they come in. Oops, sorry, I'm upside down here. Vapor art. GP series and less equals more. So each device came in one of these boxes. I'll just pull this out. I've got some bits and bobs going on here. This will be for the spheroid because this is the, the prong tool. You can remove the base on the spheroid. I've got some spare o-rings there. A little bit of wire. Uh, some cotton and some silica. So that comes in the spares pack. And I also got the, I think this is a silver plated contact. I think because I got the Lux kit, uh, I got the silver plated contacts as well. There's a gold plated spring going on there too. So here we go with the piccolo. It's pretty sweet. I, I love seeing how far this has come. Um, I mean, I went back and watched one of my, my first reviews of one of these guys and just, they were always nice devices, don't get me wrong, but uh, my God, they've improved the quality on them and the finishing and so on. Uh, very, very nice indeed. Um, right, let's get out to bits. So here's the tube, as I said, it's 316 stainless steel. The threading is no burrs, no nothing going on here. It's just perfect. As far as my uneducated eye can see, it's perfect. Uh, and there we go. The switch, um, you know, we've got the, like I say, I think this is the Lux edition, just going off the button here. Um, it's got a tiny, <laughs> it's got a tiny little throw on it. It really has. And you'll see nothing happening there at all. Uh, it has a quarter turn to lock, so that's it locked, unlocked. Standing me thing. Now using the tool that comes with it, I'm just going to pop that in there and then unscrew this. There we go, it comes. So there's our, our Delrin and we've got our little contact here and here you can see that we actually do have a serial number inside and when you push the button this is making contact with this here. I've not had any misfires, not a single one and I'll get a screwdriver out and we'll show you even further in here. Uh, what you really need to do here is put a lot of pressure on the switch as you're turning here because um, it's it's quite tight um, but you know it will start off and you can just unscrew this little bad boy here so you've got silver plating going on here once again and hopefully I can pop this off and we'll find a spring underneath here and there we go so that's it for the switch and you can see you've got holes there for venting and so on as far as the top cap goes, uh, 510 threading and there are no adjustments to be made here at all. This is sprung loaded in here, you know, you stick your battery in and jobs are good and it's all done. Um, I'll just give you a look inside here. So you can see that you've got a spring in there. And this section here just threads onto there, tighten that up, so you just screw your atty on, this takes out any battery rattle and uh, there's no adjustments to be made whatsoever, uh, it is stiff though this, it's hell of a stiff, I've got to give it that, um, but yeah, now the only thing I would like to have seen with the the picoloid, you know, the combination of the two is I, I really do wish that we'd had a hybrid connection here. That that would have been a brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Um I would just really like to have seen that. But hey ho. Uh spheroid here, I've got the drip tip with it. 
a GP drip tip. I will notice that the, the drip tip is pretty damn loose. Um, I mean, it's a double o-ring drip tip, but it's still... I don't, listen, I don't notice it when I'm vaping, uh, but if I do this, then I do notice it, but there we go. Um, I'm not going to go into great depth here because, uh, you know, most people that... There's many tutorials out there on the, you know, the spheroid, and I've done a couple myself. You know, there's... The short and sweet version is that inside here we have our, uh, our foam, if you want to call it that, and... You know, you, you wrap it in there and then you pour your juice in. So this is your reservoir. You then have positive and negative going on here. You coil between the two. And, you know, this little guy here basically just touches the filler material here and absorbs the juice and, you know, keeps this saturated and it just wicks away quite the thing uh, once again at the point you did get a, a tool with this one as well so you can take the base off and get in about that remember the air is drawn from within here on the, the spheroid so that's why you do need on the top of the piccoloid piccoloid piccolo you do need the air to be drawn in it is quite a tight draw there's no two ways about it oops Screw that on, let's give it a little fire. There we go. So this is quite saturated in there already. I'm just going to pop that on there. Screw it on. And there we go with the Picoloid. And once again, uh, I've done reviews of the Spheroid and the, the older versions in the past, but if you want to learn how to rebuild it and things like that, the old versions still apply. Uh, so many people have reviewed these now that uh, I can, you know, go out, watch the reviews, see how they're building these things now. Um, I must admit that uh, I, I still prefer, I'm going to go back and set this up with some uh, silica. I still prefer the rather than having cotton in there, I prefer the silica. I just feel it stands upright better, but that's just me. But uh, yeah, let's go back to the car. I better take this guy for a walk because he's going to go daft here any minute. But uh, I'd like to thank the guys at uh, GP Vapor Art for sending this on. Once again, I got this free for review. You pick one of these up, you'll not be sorry. I defy anybody to not be happy with one of these, as long as you accept it's not a cloud chaser and it's a 14500 battery. That's it. Guys, we'll catch you later. Cheers now. Oh, here, before I go, I'm just going to show you the view from where I'm sitting here. How bonny is that? That's the, the fourth road, that's the rail bridge. Oh, can I zoom in in this thing? There you go, there's the rail, uh, the railway bridge road bridge behind it and right the turrets I don't know if you can see them just behind there that's the the new road bridge that they're building so can I zoom in even further oh I can indeed look at that oh that's a great wee camera this so that's for the new road bridge existing road bridge and the railway bridge <laughs>